travelers here. So today we're going to Chifu with a bunch of friends, which is the hometown of And uh, we've got a couple of friends already on the train. Yeah, that's true. We have another baby coming today, Shiloh. So we're going to have some adventures together in the city. But let's uh, get heading to our station because we're about to board the train. Okay, let's go. And here's Amy. Say hi, Amy. No. No. Hi. And Amber. Hi. We're going on a train. Amber Girls. Kind of stressful getting a sit down. I was foolish and I didn't check where the tickets were, and so we're all in different cars. But we're good now. Our friend Valerie found us. Hello there, I'm Valerie. Let's go with me to check all the carriages because we are seated in different colleges and I have a better than issues. Kia's just down the just down the way there. Almost. <laughs> We're all getting off the train. He's got a sleepy, sleepy. Yeah, both babies had a nap. You know. So, Valerie, what happened in there? So, they want more and more information. They have already done computer. The train station hasn't, and still, the lady needs to write it down. <laughs> In Chinese, so ni hao ma. We're doing bilingual puns. Wow. Ni hao. Here we go. This is so cool. This is great. One thing about this city that I find very intriguing is all of the buildings in this city, you'll notice that there are no skyscrapers here. It's a pretty big city, about half the size of Japan. But there, there's nothing higher than these buildings here because there is actually a law in Chufu that says that you are not allowed to build higher than the proper temple of Confucius. I just asked a random lady over at the shop how old this wall was. And uh, she told me it was 20 years old. So <laughs> I thought it was older. <laughs> I guess the, the real old wall, what is it? It's the wall of Kongmiao, right? That one's older? Or is this Kongmiao? I don't know. I think the wall is here. Amy's useless. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ticket office. <laughs> All right. We got our tickets. We got tickets. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this. Let me do this. Look, 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 look. We got tickets. <laughs> Whoa. We got tickets. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, it's Amber. <laughs> do something. <laughs> Stop it. Let's try the series. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Hey, Amber. What's that? It's a, it's a gate. It is a gate. It's a gate. It's a nice it's gate. A, it's a it's a great gate. You're so silly. That Confucius Free used Free. Free. 50 Free. years ago. He made this Free. one. He made that one. Yeah. With turtles. Which one? <laughs> Where are the turtles? Excuse me. This whole place is littered with trees like this. That you can just see that they're very old. All of these trees are in the hundreds of years old. For example, that one that we were just looking at is 500 years old. And this one I'm assuming is older. Um, and you can see this whole field is littered with these trees that are just um, centenas, <laughs> centennial old trees. I can't think of the word in English, but uh, centennials. And it's, it's pretty cool. There's a whole row of them over here. I got them in the video. But yeah, let's keep exploring. I think it's called Ding. Ding. D I N G. Ding. Oh. Ding. The third tone. So behind me here, this is the outer wall of the palace, and it's about 600 years old. And if you look over here, we have the middle wall, which also I'm assuming is 600 years old. I can't find the date anyway. Right here you see where the wall has been like refurbished and made to look nice for tourists. But over here, we have the actual old wall itself. And uh, this wall was the middle wall, which was built in the Ming Dynasty, which was built 800 years ago. So as each wall progresses outwards, it goes up by a couple hundred years because they were built in different kingdoms afterwards. So this is the oldest wall of the place, and uh, these are the actual bricks, apparently. So. they have these is when you want to enter the gate they have this little step here to force you to look down and bow your head as you go through the gate so it's a cool little trick that they do to get people to show reverence as they enter through the gate it's pretty ingenious <laughs> <laughs> so, the history behind this turtle here. It was built during the Ming Dynasty uh, by Emperor Zhu Jianshen, who also built this wall here that we were looking at earlier. And the turtle symbolizes longevity or long life or immortality. 
and it has the head of a lion, it has the claws of an eagle, the tail of a snake, and the body of a turtle. And each of them represents something, we won't get into it. And on it is written a decree by the emperor saying that the works of Confucius are going to be established as works of law, and that it should be implemented into all of the society of the kingdom at the time. So Confucius went from being unknown to being how things were done in China, in this province at that time. So this gate is special because in the center there's the big gate and to the side there are two side gates. And traditionally, the emperor would move through the center gate while the concubines and servants would go around on the outer gates. Only royalty was allowed through the middle. I guess I'm the emperor now. Where is your emperor now? We had to switch to the GoPro because my, my camera's running out. But uh, this building here is the gateway into the most innermost part of the palace area. So right now they've kind of turned this, this gateway area into a place where you can buy uh, writings of Confucius and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a little souvenir shop. But the main temple is actually through here, but we have to go around the side. Take a look at these rafters. This is incredible. So if you look at all these things here in the rafters, all of this is woodwork that they carved and designed to interlace with each other. And from my understanding, it's so structurally sound that even an earthquake cannot knock the building over because the wood just wiggles around and it absorbs any sort of shock. And it's been standing for hundreds of years. It's pretty ingenious what they were able to do centuries ago. Really cool stuff. No nails, no glue, nothing. Just wood. So this sign here says that the tree that is next to me was planted by Confucius. And that would mean that it's about 2,400 years old. And supposedly, the story is that Confucius planted three trees in total, and two of them have died, and this is the last remaining one that he planted so long ago, as you can see. proper, okay? This is where Confucius supposedly came and taught and argued with governors trying to convince them to uh, believe what he was saying about his writings and his philosophies, etc. And as you can see, people can come here and they can offer food, they can burn incenses, and uh, generally just kind of enjoy the area. But within the temple, a lot of the stuff that was in there was destroyed during the Cultural Revolution, sadly. And they've since tried to rebuild it by making new statues that look like the ones that were there before, as best as they could replicate it. And also the furniture and stuff they gathered from all over China and brought it in here. And uh, yeah, let's go and check that out.
What do you think of Confucius's temple? It's good. I've been here before. It looks very familiar to most of the other temples in China. But you know, it's fun. It's fun going with a baby. It's a whole new experience. So, good. <laughs> you can see here, the uh, stone actually has indents on it from people's butts sliding down this over the centuries. Ooh. Go ahead, Ellie. Hey, man. So we are done looking at this area. We're going to head over to the cemetery now, and we're going to see where Confucius was buried next. So let's go. of ours. Do you want to get something with actual Confucius or actual the I would say Confucius. So do you like close Confucius or far away Confucius? Close Confucius. What do you think about Confucius? <laughs> Did you think the temple was beautiful? Did you think the temple was beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. How excited are you that we got a magnet? Are you excited to see it on the fridge? Yeah. Um. This is the uh, Hong family mansion, which is where Confucius and his family after his life lived. Hey, Amber, demonstrate how useful this wall is. Oh, dang it, you invaded. <laughs> I don't know if this was once connected to something, maybe? Or is it just a cool little gateway? I don't know. So this is Confucius's ancestors' home. So they lived here for a couple generations, and eventually it got burnt down. And then after Confucius lived out his life and died in anonymity, and then was later resurrected by the emperor, uh, they paid tribute to his family by rebuilding this entire complex. Um, I imagine before it was probably very small and now it's pretty big and pretty in impressive. But this whole place, even though it's labeled Confucius's home, he never actually lived here. This was something built much later than he was alive. So let's keep exploring. Beautiful. How are you doing, Percy? One of the things that I've learned from uh, traditional Chinese culture is they love rocks. And one of the things that they will do in a business or a household is they will erect a giant stone at the entrance or in the center of the house or business. And it symbolizes longevity. So hoping that this household or this business will last for a long time, just like a rock does. Um, one other interesting fact I learned very quickly is this household has a total of 463 rooms in total. And we're just exploring the main courtyards. We don't have time to explore everything.
in the video immediately acts awkward. <laughs> it's like you're walking on a wheel. <laughs> you like in Chufu? Got anything to say about it? No? So these are the gardens of uh, uh, Confucius's family, mansion, right? Yeah. yeah, the mansion around here. And they're just basically winding a lot more of these sort of circular hobbit style doors and yeah, stuff like it's that. Yeah, very cool. It's really pretty. Um, it's it's a, hard it's... to capture it though, because it has a very lush green feel that you yeah. can't quite get on camera. Um, but it's very peaceful. I wish we had more time here. Quite the mansion. It's like a whole maze going through different courtyards and stuff. And then at the back here is just this gorgeous, like, garden yeah. area. What do you say about It'd it? It'd be perfect for just walking around pensively, thinking about big thoughts, which I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah? And what else do you think about it? Any other thoughts? Yeah? Pretty? It's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, just, just the kind of thing baby likes. Yeah. Cool, green, lush. Mm -hmm. Let's keep exploring. So, we've explored. I think we're all satisfied with the exploration we've done, right? Yeah. Everything is closed. We're gonna go and grab some dinner and grab the train home. So, that's it for this video. We'll see you next vlog. Jolly, Jolly Travelers, travelers signing, signing off. off! See everybody. Wow. <laughs>